In this bumper garage band guide video, I've brought together pretty much every free iOS music making app I've ever featured on the channel into one mega video. So stick the kettle on, kick back, relax, and enjoy around an hour's worth of free iOS music making apps. You'll find a massive list of every app featured in this video in the description down below. Baby Audio's Magic Dice gives you a little slice of another of their hugely popular plugins. This time it's their spaced out reverb plugin. In terms of UI, it's just this one button. That's it. Hitting that one button though generates random and lush FX textures on demand. You'll essentially get a random preset from the full spaced out plugin that can range from hazy space echoes and lush reverbs to alien sounding modulation effects. The combinations really are endless and you'll never get the same result twice. All right, headphones in for this one. This is Panflow, a creative panning modulator for iOS, Mac, and Windows from Audio Modern. Yes, the same Audio Modern that created one of my favorite creative apps from the last few years, Filter Stick. GarageBand iOS users in particular will appreciate this one, as Audio Modern have given us what Apple still refuses to, panning automation with a twist. All wrapped up in a stunning, easy to use interface, Panflow allows you to shape complex, evolving panning patterns and add rhythmic movement to any track in real time. You can dive in and manually add and then drag and drop points to design your panning pattern. Or, and I kind of prefer it this way, Hit the big randomizer button in the middle and let Panflow create one for you. You can switch between levels of complexity, change from curved to straight to step panning lines. There's an infinity mode that will be familiar to anybody who's used any of Audio Modern's other apps, and that's me barely scratching the surface. Panflow is a proper wee gem, and it's a brilliant way to add a real sense of motion and fluidity to your projects. Flux Mini 2 is the sequel to Calum Audio's wonderful dynamic modulation app, Flux Mini, and it picks up where the first version left off, really. Available on iOS, Mac, and Windows, the main draw of Flux Mini 2 is the customizable graph, where you can add modulate filter cutoff, filter resonance, amplitude, and mix values. Create your graph, adjust how much of each value you'd like to be present, and you're off to the races.
This new version adds multiple filter modes into the mix and you can sync modulation to whatever DAW you have it loaded up in as well. Flux Mini 2 is a tough app to describe on paper or on video. You really have to get to grips with it to get it. Luckily, Kalem Audio have included 20 factory presets to get you familiarised with what exactly Flux Mini 2 is capable of. And it is very capable. You're able to generate some stellar sounds and effects once you dive in and get to grips with it. Flux Mini 2 is definitely worth spending some time with. Tonebridge from Ultimate Guitar is a unique iOS guitar sim that's unlike pretty much any other app out there. If you want to recreate a specific guitar tone from a specific famous song, all you need to do is open Tonebridge, search for the band or the song you're looking for, select the tone that comes up, and that's it. The sheer quality of famous guitar tones on offer is mind-boggling, and they all sound brilliant. Not only can you load up tones from your favourite tracks in seconds, Tonebridge allows you to craft your own patches with over 100 different amps, pedals, microphones and effects. You can then save your creations or share them with others using the Tonebridge catalogue. There are hours of fun to be had here hunting down your favourite guitar tones from years gone by or from more recent tracks. In fact, Tonebridge is so good that you may not need another guitar app ever again. For the longest time, Neon Silicon's free EQ app LRC5 served as the perfect fix for some iOS DAWs rubbish built-in EQs, not mentioning any names of course. Last year the maniacs at Neon Silicon unleashed LRC7, a new improved and surprisingly still free EQ app that gives users even more control over their frequencies. LRC7 includes low shelf, high shelf, parametric peak, notch, low pass and high pass filters amongst others. LRC7's interface is incredibly intuitive, allowing you to drag and drop EQ points with pinpoint accuracy. While lacking some of the features of other premium EQ apps, the lack of visual analyzer may prove irritating for some, LRC7 will fulfill 99.9% .9 of most users' EQ needs. Filter Step is really, really unique. Essentially, it's a creative motion filter plugin which provides all kind of intricate rhythmic movement to any input in real time. It can give you incredibly complex and nuanced results based on various filter effect settings and almost infinite possibilities for sonic exploration through filter randomization. I get that that all sounds a wee bit complicated, but creating amazing sounds with Filter Step is actually really straightforward.
There's a lot to get to grips with here, and while filter step may seem a little bit complicated to begin with, it won't take long before you've got the hang of it and are creating all manner of quirky filtered sounds. Prepare yourself to lose hours of your life tinkering with and transforming your sounds. The newest free app on this list, Magic Switch keeps things really simple, giving you an on-off toggle switch, slap bang in the middle of the plugin, and a mix slider on the bottom. That's it. Developers Baby Audio have taken one of the controls from their 80s flavoured desktop plugin, Super VHS, and released it here as a standalone effect on iOS. Now this thing is great for adding some synth wave spice to a synth or keyboard track. It actually also sounds lovely on pretty much anything you want to slap it onto, though adding it to guitars, bass and keys provided particularly pleasing results for me. Tape Cassette 2 is the sequel to Kalem Audio's insanely popular tape cassette plugin, Tape Cassette. Tape Cassette 2 takes everything that made the original so beloved and turns it right up to 11. You have two VU meters to monitor your audio, controls to adjust things like saturation, low pass, noise, wow, and flutter. Kalem Audio have also included 16 presets here to get you started, that run the gamut from subtle and warm to complete sonic chaos. Take my advice. Before you rush out and buy a premium tape saturation app, check out Tape Cassette 2 first. Chances are it will do exactly what you're looking for and it won't cost you a single penny. Finishing off now with an oldie but a goodie. The result of over two years of hardcore development by audio kit coder Matthew Fecker and over 100 audio wizards around the globe, Synth One is an absolutely essential download for anyone making music on iOS. Just because Synth One is free doesn't mean it's light on sounds or features. The app comes with five oscillators, two assignable LFOs, ASDR envelopes, high pass and band pass filters, plus a whole lot more. If you'd rather dive into some ready-made sounds, Synth One comes packaged with over 300 of them, many handcrafted by talented sound designers like Red Sky Lullaby and Dean at Electrona Sounds.
every single iOS music maker should include Synth 1 in their Sonic toolbox. It's just that good. Kicking us off is an oldie but a goodie. Blamsoft's OG AUV3 synth is a surprisingly versatile and fairly deep app that really lets users get stuck into designing their own sounds. An authentic emulation of a classic monophonic analogue synthesizer, Viking Synth has three continuously variable wave oscillators, two ladder filters with a dual low pass or high pass slash low pass configuration, a multi-wave LFO and two modulation buses. If you can't be bothered with all that and would rather just dive in and see what sounds this synth has to offer, Viking Synth comes with 178 presets in the categories of bass, bright lead, electro bass, effects, percussive lead and soft lead. The beefy bass and synthwave tastic lead sounds are particularly tasty, in my opinion. No frills, no gimmicks, just a great sounding and easy to use AUV3 app. Viking Synth proves that the old ones sometimes really are the best. Monolith is a unique and powerful synth for both iOS and Mac from the audio wizards at Bleece. They've essentially distilled a lot of what makes their full fat Megalith synth down into a lightweight, easy to use monophonic synth app. Now, as I mentioned, Monolith is monophonic, the clues in the name, so you won't be bashing out any epic chords on this thing. Instead, it specialises in creating some truly gnarly bass, lead and arpeggiated sounds. Monolith conforms to the design language Bleece have pretty much perfected at this point, giving users a straightforward, easy to use interface spread over three tabs. General, Oscillators and Filter slash Modulation. Drilling down into these tabs lets you affect all aspects of your sounds. From robust modulation controls and full control over the inbuilt arpeggiator, to adjusting the two oscillators and fine tuning Monolith's filter, the sound design possibilities here are just incredible. If preset surfing is more your thing, there is a factory bank with dozens of pre made sounds, as well as community created banks from the likes of Electrona Sounds, Red Sky Lullaby, The Beat Community, and Doug from the Sound Test Room. There are well over a hundred presets here and the sheer variety of the sounds on offer shows just how powerful Bleece have made Monolith. This is yet another incredible app from Bleece and I just can't believe they're giving it away for free. Primer is a free synth app available for iPad that is an exact replica of the tool Audible Genius the app's developers use in the synthesizer training app Syntoro. Primer contains many of the most common controls found in analog synths, so if you're new to this sort of thing, Primer might be a good place to start. If you want to dive right in and explore the sounds that Primer is capable of, there are dozens of factory presets to wrap your ears around. If you want to take a more hands-on approach, Primer comes with a whole host of controls and parameters to tweak. 
Most of these are fairly straightforward to get to grips with and you'll quickly realise how easy it is to sculpt your own sounds. An absolute powerhouse once you know what you're doing with it, Primer is well worth the download. No, I'm not kidding, and I'm not going to apologise. This is incredible. You've got three available burp sounds on the top keyboard. And three fart sounds on the bottom. No, it's not AUV3, and there is technically an in-app purchase, though just to get rid of ads, but I don't care. This is fantastic and I'm tired of pretending that it isn't. Make sure you heed the warning on the app store listing though. Warning, please don't try to actually fart your newly made songs. As you, as you may poopy, <laughs> as you may poopy your panties. <laughs> what the f am I doing with my life, honestly? The second iteration of Pablo Lopez's Grand Piano AUV3 app. Grand Piano AUV3 2 is a really good sounding instrument app that has a few neat tricks up its sleeve. Out of the box, the app doesn't really sound all that special, honestly. This changes when you make use of its onboard suite of effects, however. Grand Piano AUV3 2 has built in ADSR controls, tremolo, stereo widening, fine-tuning, auto-pan, filters, as well as chorus and reverb effects. Having a wee fiddle with some of these effects, the stereo widening one in particular sounds great, can leave you with some really quite pleasant results. Will this give the Ravenscrofts and pure uprights of the world a run for their money? Probably not, but this is a great sounding virtual piano app all the same and you really can't argue with the price. Finally, Numa Player is a fantastic free virtual instrument for iOS, Mac, and Windows. Numa Player's interface is organized into four parts and includes four standing libraries with a load of instruments to choose from. Each instrument can be assigned to any part and provides up to four dedicated sound controls, custom keyboard ranges, and multiple settings. This thing is really deep. Not only that, there are nine built-in effects for each part and a master effects section so you can slap effects onto the output signal as well. The quality of the sounds on offer in Numa Player are phenomenal. Each instrument sounds great on its own with the electric pianos and keys banks standing out to me in particular. Numa Player really shines though when you combine these sounds either manually or by diving into the included presets, and you'll often end up with some truly top tier instrument sounds as a result. This is a no brainer, go and grab it now.
Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, when the next bit, I've got hair. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'd love you to give that like button a wee slap. I really do appreciate it, and it helps get this video in front of other iOS music makers who might find it helpful. Alright, brace yourself. Flux Mini is a straightforward but really useful modulation plugin from the wizards at Kalem Audio. The control section on the right there allows you to control the sync, resonance and mix parameters for each of the three modulation targets, amp or volume, low pass filter and high pass filter. The LFO Shape Editor is the star of the show here, allowing you to kind of draw your own custom LFO shape using the Waveform Editor. You can even add new curve points by double tapping on the interface. Calum Audio have added 20 presets here to get you started, all of which give you a really good taste of what Flux Mini can do. Capable of some stellar sounds once you get to grips with it, Flux Mini is definitely worth a download. Wider is a stereo widening plugin that only does one thing, but does that one thing very well. Wider expands the stereo image of a mono signal to an awe inspiring amount of width. In fact, it can increase the stereo image of any mono signal up to 200% of full stereo for an extra wide exaggerated effect. Wider can really add some extra body and beef to synth and key sounds. as well as injecting life into drum and rhythm tracks. I've yet to find a single sound, instrument or loop that doesn't sound better once you add wider to its signal chain. I'd highly recommend downloading this wee gem and giving it a whirl yourself. LRC5 is a 5 band EQ that might be a good option if you find GarageBand's 3 band visual EQ a little bit limiting. I know I do. LRC5 includes low shelf, high shelf and 3 parametric peak filters. LRC5's interface is very intuitive, allowing you to drag and drop EQ points with pinpoint accuracy. You can also adjust the Q value of each point here, allowing you to target and eliminate problem frequencies with ease. There are some presets included with LRC5, though you might be better off creating and saving your own 
using the app's straightforward preset manager. Neon Silicon could easily charge users for this EQ, as it really is very versatile and a worthwhile addition to your iOS app collection. Developers giving away amazing free apps like this really does make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Much like the feeling I get every time someone hits the like button on one of my videos. So if you want to help me out and keep this dopamine hit going, show me some thumb love down below. Rough Rider 3 is the third iteration of Audio Damage's wildly popular compressor effect that has been a mainstay of many a Sonic producer's toolkit for years now. Capable of absolutely decimating any signal you slap it onto when cranked, Rough Rider 3 also works great when applied with a little more subtlety. Rough Rider 3 comes loaded with some presets to point you in the right direction and allows you to fine tune things like the input level, sidechain controls in hosts that support it, ratio, sensitivity, makeup gain, attack, release, mix, and output level. It's stable, CPU efficient, and sounds brilliant. What's not to love? Finally, DLYM is a delay modulation plugin that produces chorus and flanger like effects. You have a huge amount of control over the sounds that you'll create with DLYM. You have time, feedback sync, rate, depth, and waveform controls on the top, and processing mode, stereo spread, crossover, dry slash wet, and mute controls on the bottom. If you'd rather take the hands-off approach, Imagine Ando have packed in 20 presets here, which run the gamut from bizarre and destructive to more low-key and subtle. Even the crazier presets can be suitably tamed using DLYM's well laid out and intuitive controls however, and it's easy to lose hours tinkering with and shaping some unique sounds. DLYM is a joy to use and a worthwhile addition to your iOS plugin arsenal. Available for both iOS and Mac, GateLab from Audio Modern is a super creative gate sequencer slash volume modulation generator. I know, I know. What does that mean? Well, GateLab essentially lets you chop up your audio using either randomized sequences by simply tapping the big green randomize button, or you can manually add your own pattern using GateLab's step sequencer like interface. The two levels correspond to left and right channels, allowing users to create some weird and wonderful stereo patterns, though you can switch it to mono mode if you'd rather keep things sonically straightforward. There are two different modes to use, with gate mode having each step in the sequence either be on or off, and flow mode allowing users to fine tune the level of each step. Audio Modern are really good at making apps that satisfy users who just want to load up the app, 
press a button and have some cool noises come out of the other end. As well as giving those looking to fine tune every aspect of the effect the depth of control to do so. GateLab is no different and a fantastic way to add some unique flavour to your tracks. Three knobs, one button, big sound. Only available on the App Store, Rack Reverb from AudioKit is deceptively simple. Controls wise, you have a low cut knob, which rolls off the low end of your reverb tail, helpful for keeping things clear and unmuddy. A verb size knob, which unsurprisingly adjusts the size of the reverb effect and a mix knob which controls how much of the wet affected signal you'll hear alongside your original dry signal. And there's a handy dandy bypass button here too, which allows you to quickly disable the effect in real time. So far, so what, right? Well, what makes Rack Reverb a wee bit special is that it's based on an algorithm by Sean Costello, who created the amazing Valhalla DSP line of reverb plugins. Valhalla's free supermassive plugin is one of my favourite effects ever, and AudioKit have managed to capture a wee bit of that magic here. simply sounds brilliant on pretty much anything you use it on. on Mac and iOS until the 15th of December, Kalem Audio's roast beef takes some of the best features from last year's superb Swiss army knife of a saturation app, Beef, and wraps them up in a straightforward lightweight UI. You have a drive knob at the bottom here which allows you to add up to 35 dB of overdrive boost. The subcontrol adds meat to the bones of your low end audio. Great for filling out 808s or adding a bit of extra grunt to any bass track really. And the noise knob controls Roast Beef's fixed rate modulation effect. All in all, Roast Beef is a great way to add a wee bit of extra spice to your audio tracks, but remember to grab it for free before December the 15th. Crunk version 2 from Membrini Audio. Available on both iOS and Mac, Crunk 2 is a one channel guitar amp sim that gives you a large number of gnarly tones to play with. Crank the gain knob all the way up for a fierce metal shred fest.
or dial things back a bit for a more crunchy, bluesy tone. Crunk version 2 comes with some presets to get you started and allows you to choose whether to colour your outgoing signal with a great sounding emulation of a 4x12 vintage 30 cabinet or to bypass it completely. On Mac, Crunk works the same as any other audio unit plugin. On iOS, it's both inter app audio and AUV3 compatible, making inserting this wee gem into your projects that much easier. Nambrini Audio have absolutely nailed it here when it comes to sound quality and flexibility. This thing doesn't sound like a chorus plug-in, it sounds like a chorus pedal. And if you're recording and mixing guitars either on a Mac or on an iPad or iPhone, you'll know how important that distinction is. Your first instinct might be to slap this app onto a guitar track and you'd be right. Whether applied to a clean guitar for that classic smooth chorus vibe, or layered onto a dirty guitar sound for a bit of extra 90s style bite. Nembrini's Analog Rack Chorus sounds great. Control-wise, you'll be working with an input knob, rate control, depth control, output knob, and power switch. On Mac, you load up Analog Rack Chorus the same way you would any other AU plugin. On iOS, you can use it in standalone mode or connect it to GarageBand or your iOS DAW of choice via inter-app audio or as an AUV3 effect. Nambrini Audio's Analog Rack Chorus only does one thing, but it does it very, very well. If you're looking for a go-to chorus effect that will knock it out of the park in almost every sonic situation, then look no further, this is the one. Analog Rack Delay. Nambrini Audio say, the Analog Rack Delay plugin is the power of Nembrini Audio's delay algorithms in a simple package. BPM sync, stereo spread circuit, and a very juicy sound. Good stuff. It's really easy to dial in some fantastic sounding delay sounds. You can keep things low key and subtle. you can make things more dramatic by cranking things up a bit. Analog Rack Delay has a straightforward set of controls to work with as well. On the right here is an input meter. In the middle, you'll find delay time, BPM sync, offset, feedback and mix controls. And on the right is your output meter. 
You also have an analogue toggle switch and power switch at the bottom here. Membrini Audio have added several presets as well, which do a good job of demonstrating what this app can do. On Mac, you can download Analog Rack Delay from the Brini Audio's website, install it as normal, and then it'll show up in GarageBand's plugins menu. On iOS, you can use it in standalone mode, collect it to GarageBand via InterApp Audio, or use it as an audio unit effect. This thing sounds better than any free app or plugin has any right to. It's designed with guitars in mind, but actually works really well on a variety of different instrument sounds. Not only that, it's very light on CPU usage, so you can run multiple instances of the app without any optimizing issues. Analog Rack Delay is available for free on Mac from the Brini Audio's website. You'll find it in the iOS App Store for iPad or iPhone. Links to all of those down below. Brand new from Baby Audio and completely free on both Mac and iOS, Pitch Drift introduces randomized pitch fluctuations that make your tracks feel more organic and natural. In the same vein as their two most recent other free apps, Magic Dice and Magic Switch, Baby Audio have taken a feature from one of its full fat plugins and turned it into its own standalone thing. In Pitch Drift's case, Baby Audio have taken the drift algorithm from their excellent Super VHS desktop plugin. Pitch Drift keeps things really simple with just two controls. You can increase the rate at which the pitch fluctuates by either sliding up and down on this main window on iOS or by clicking and dragging on it on Mac. And you can adjust how much of the effect is applied to your track with the amount slider. Baby Audio say that the pitch drifter was inspired by real instruments, and that one of the appeals of acoustic instruments is that they're never 100% in tune 100% of the time. However, in the computer era, this concept is often lost. Pitch drift makes it fast and easy to break the spell of digital pitch perfection and get your tracks to vibrate a little more. I found Pitch Drifter to be really great at adding a little bit of discordance to things like synth and guitar tracks.
also found it really good for adding a little bit of differentiation between double tracked synth leads in particular. You wouldn't just duplicate an identical synth sound in order to add width or power to it. Duplicating it identically will just essentially add more volume and nothing else. Slap pitch drift onto one of the duplicate tracks, or onto both tracks, and it suddenly sounds like you've combined two different takes, instead of just cloning the original. Pitch Drift also sounds great on a master bus or track, adding an almost warped vinyl effect, perfect for adding a bit of lo-fi flavour to your tracks. Drifter is a great way to add a bit of wibbly wobbly lo-fi loveliness to either individual tracks or projects as a whole. I really, really like it. Pitch Drift is available for free today on iOS via the iOS App Store or from Baby Audio's website for Mac users. You'll find links to both of those down below the like button. The infamous Klon Centaur Distortion pedal goes for thousands of dollars on the second hand market nowadays. So if you really want that authentic Klon sound, you better get saving. Alternatively, the guitar heroes over at Nambrini Audio have managed to faithfully recreate that sought after transparent overdrive sound associated with the Klon Centaur with their free Klon Minotaur app. Nimbrini say, depending on the settings of the control knobs, the Klon Minotaur Transparent Overdrive can act mostly as a clean boost, adding mostly volume and minimal colouring to the sound. This can be used to drive the input valve stage of the virtual amplifier to use the characteristic distortion sound of an overdriven guitar amp. And I've found that to be mostly true. The pedal sounds best when you're adding it to an existing amp sim plugin, or even GarageBand's own selection of amp simulations. And let's be honest here, we all know that GarageBand's amp sounds aren't all that fantastic, especially the dirtier ones. So adding the Clone Minotaur app into the mix can make them sound a whole lot better. Nimbrini Audio are the de facto kings of amp simulation on iOS at the moment, and if they keep releasing bangers like this, especially for free, I don't see that changing any time soon.
Audio Things first release on iOS. Filter Jam is a multiband resonant filter, delivering weird ring mod like filtered sounds. The input signal here is divided into four bands that are then summed or multiplied together according to the mode that you choose. Now, Filter Jam can be very harsh and weird. Or quite gentle, adding a few nice overtones to something you apply it to. Filter Jam is just really, really good fun to use, and it allows you to completely warp and transform your sounds. Having said that, it's also useful when used with a little bit more subtlety. Adding a little bit of flavour to some sounds is a great way to add character and a bit of warmth to your projects. Filter Jam is an essential download for the more sonically adventurous iOS music makers out there. Originally developed as part of a music signal processing class at Stanford University, Chow Tape Model is a digital emulation of a reel-to-reel -reel analog tape machine. Now, there are a few of these kicking around on iOS, but this one is arguably one of the best. If you just want to dive in and slap some weird and wonderful wibbly wobbly tape machine goodness onto your tracks, there are loads of included presets to help you get going. If you'd rather get stuck in and tweak individual parameters yourself, Chow Tape Model gives you a huge amount of controls to fiddle with. There are four main columns, each with several different tabs, that allow you to control everything from input gain, saturation and compression, to flutter, wow and chew effects. It's a surprisingly deep and usable app, especially considering it's free. There was one free app I left out of this compilation video as it was getting long enough already, but it might be one of, if not the best, free iOS music making app of all time. Check it out here. <laughs> 